Welcome back guys. We're going to talk about laminar flow. Basically water flowing through a block and its insulation properties. Now this is one of the most important parts of achieving good cooling with a water block. Understanding that water is an insulator and we need to deal with that. So this is a picture of one of my water blocks that I've cut the front off. Normally you'd have the water coming in here going along here and obviously out. Now this is a bit small to talk about so I've created one of these which is a pipe which is to represent one of these channels so there would be heat being applied to that like so which indicates the heat coming from here and here now we bang, bang some water down here And we assume that the water is going to get warmer and end up something like this. But that's actually not what happens. This is what happens heat-wise. you end up with cool water in the middle you end up with warmer water here and you end up with very hot water along the surface now that happens because water is an insulator so obviously the water is flowing this way but we're applying heat this way so it heats up the outside layer of the water or the water that's running along here and as it gets closer into the block it gets warmer sorry it gets cooler this is assuming that we've drawn a line like that so that is obviously quite a significant problem now that essentially happens as I said before is because water is an insulator and so this layer here has to conduct heat through itself through the water to the next layer and therefore to the next layer and vice versa so this the water flowing down the center was always the coolest and the water flowing along the outside is the hottest now we need to do something about this because this is obviously very bad for cooling and I'm going to talk about what we actually do about it in the next video but it's really important that we understand that the water flowing along the surface of the uh, channels will be hotter than the water flowing down the center of the channel and that's because there's conduction losses just like our uh, first video where there was a conduction loss across the height of the block the same goes for the water
Now there is a really cool video out there with a demonstration of this situation where the water doesn't want to mix with itself. And I'll draw it. Now we have our cylinder. And what they do is they add some dye to it here. And it's not full of water, it's full of much thicker clear fluid. And what they do is that they then stir it. And the result is that it gets mixed like this across here. It, it does not get mixed like this, which is what people expect. And there's a great example of this situation. Now while we're here, we'll also talk about velocities. So our water down the center travels at the greatest velocity of this length is velocity. And as it gets closer to the outside, it will go slower and slower. Because there is friction between each of these layers. And that friction is acting against the flow of the water. So the water that's along the surface of the channel will be traveling at the slowest speed and the water the furthest distance away from the edge will be flowing the fastest. Now, as we mentioned before, the water down the center will also be the coolest. So it's really, really important. This is, like I said, the most important thing to understand that the water closest to the surface of your channels will be the hottest. And the water, as it gets progressively further away, will get cooler and will be traveling at a greater velocity. And this situation is very, very bad for cooling. Because while you've spent all this money trying to get the heat into the water, and you are, the water is not able to remove it from the block or transfer it to itself. So we'll talk about how to deal with that next. Don't forget to subscribe and ask me any questions you'd like to cover. Um, Gonna, someone's asked questions about cooling reservoirs, so I'll do a video on that, but it's important that we cover some things prior to doing that. Hopefully you're enjoying them, guys. Give me some thumbs-ups. I love my bad English. Thumbs-up. Thanks, guys. Soup.